personal. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so we're still in the aftermath of uh, Inoue versus Fulton. So obviously, and with boxing being so slow, we're going to talk about Inoue and Terrence Crawford a lot here this month. But uh, interesting stuff. I saw this on Twitter, and I kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit. Uh, you know, one of the great journalists, some people love him, some people hate him. I, I like the guy. I'm a, I'm a fan of the guy. Have been for years and, you know, uh, I like him. Steve Kim, he, he, he had this tweet recently and uh, apparently he asked Bob Arum if there was any chance of Nyoa Inoue ever coming back to fight in the USA. Because mind you, right, Inoue has only had a handful of fights here in America. Um, he fought Antonio Nieves on HBO back in the day at the uh, StubHub Center in Carson, California. He fought Michael Das Marinas. That was a, a COVID, you know, fight in the bubble. And I can't. Maybe I'm maybe I'm forgetting a fight. Maybe Maloney. He had like two fights in the bubble with Maloney, and he had Das Marinas, right? So really, us American fans who are, you know, we love we love the monster. We love what he brings to the table in the ring. We, a lot of us haven't had the opportunity or luxury to watch him, and I feel like he's one of them talents. I know he's a big star in Japan, and he never has to leave, but um, Bob Aram did say that he is looking to bring Inoue back to the States at least once next year. So um, I kind of wanted to talk about that because, you know, um, I feel like there's some big things to be, you know, I, I, I really feel like they, they, they got to do it big. If he comes to America... I want I want a press tour. I want I want in a way to be on every ESPN show. Um, I want it to be the I want it to be as big as possible. And listen, I don't know what it would cost. I don't know, but but man, may, let, let him fight at Dodger Stadium or Angel Stadium and have Otani walk out with him or something like like Shohei Otani. I want it to be big. If he comes to America, it can't just be no regular one off fight. It got to be a big time event. We got we, we got to show proper respects to a man that really is becoming. Very quickly, one of the all-time greats of the sport. Um, I made videos about, you know, other fighters he may fight. Like I mentioned, um, Hideki Ohashi recently came out and said that uh, Louis Netty could be an opponent for him. I could see that fight being in the States, you know. Netty is a Mexican fighter with a very uh, entertaining style. He's fought on Southern California um, on numerous occasions. I feel like Netty versus Inoue... After Marlon Tapala's fight would be a great fight because um, Nettie comes to fight. He lets his hands go. But as you see many times in his career, he he doesn't have the greatest chin in the world. He can get stopped. He has been dropped multiple times. His defense can get leaky. So when you, got a, when you get a fighter who can punch like that but also has leaky defense, it makes for a good fight. And then when you factor in the precision of Inoue, um, yeah, I think him and Luis Nettie, Southern like California, would be a great event. And, and and I just think that, uh, you know, he doesn't necessarily need America. I'll be honest with you. Like, as someone who's been to Japan and knowing how big he is over there, he doesn't, he doesn't need to come over here, guys. I'm being honest. He doesn't need to come over here. But if what Bob Arum is saying is true, then um, I'm, I'm going to be optimistic. I want Because I, I want to, like, I, if I go to that fight, I'm probably not going to go as media. I'm going to go as a fan. I just want to watch him fight live once. I, I didn't get the chance to watch him fight Fulton because of how everything played out. But I, I would just love to watch him fight once. And my best chance to watch him fight once is for him to come to America. So I don't care if it's against Nettie or Casemiro or whoever. Um, make Naya in a way um, next year if he does come here. Make make it a special event. I don't I don't I don't want I don't want the stuff up the center. Okay, to hell with that. All right, I don't want none of that. Let's make it big. Let's do it big. Let's give him a proper press tour. Let's 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 really uh, do what we can to give him his just due, as the, as the exceptional performer he is here in the USA. I want Angel Stadium. I want Dodger Stadium. I want him against Nettie or some someone like that, like like, like, like an entertaining Mexican fighter. Nettie fits those attributes. So I feel like him versus Luis Nettie, who his main promoter and manager Hideki Ohashi mentioned. I feel like that that guy would fit the description for you know a great event. A, a good opponent, uh, a fun fight, uh, a good defense as undisputed champion here in the States. Um, so, yeah, that's my take on the matter. Obviously, I mentioned Bruce Carrington. I think 
Bruce Carrington needs to develop a little bit more, and that fight would actually be better if it was in New York. You know, and he's got to move the featherweight for that. So that's that that fight's still some ways off. I mentioned Ordebek Komatov. I think Ordebek Komatov, um, hell of a fighter, but I don't think they'll do that if he's going to fight in America. I think they'll, they'll look to do a fight where it's going to be a bigger event. Someone, someone in the Southern California area probably gets a Mexican opponent who's a fun fighter to watch, like a Luis Neri. So, um, yeah, that's the news. Bob Arum is saying that Nayoa Inoue, he's promising Nayoa Inoue will be back in the USA next year. So uh, be on the lookout for that. We'll definitely be monitoring and watching this space very closely here on True School Sports because, listen, I still... I'm a huge mon Contrary to what some people say because everyone thinks I hate the, mo hate the monster now because of that one day when I went to his gym and... You know, I, I did have a bit of a bad attitude. I could have handled things better, but it is what it is. I moved on. Um, I forgave him a long, 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 long time ago. And, um, you know, we all make mistakes. But I still, I, I am a huge fan and a huge advocate for him. And um, I hope I hope to see him fight one day. And I, and if God if God permits, I hope to cross paths with him one day. Maybe, maybe, maybe get the interview. But uh, anyway, I digress. Y'all can let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think about Nayawa Inoue? coming to America in uh, 2024? And who would you like to see him fight in his American fight in 2024 if what Bob Aram is saying is true? Leave a comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True Sports Empire. We're here at the Hantanaka Boxing Gym in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, more great videos just like this one, make sure you guys click right here.